first live semi-final of Britain's Got Talent. We've still got six more acts to see tonight, but only two of them will be coming back for Saturday's final. Yes, now our next act is a man whose surname tells you all about what he does. He spent years working on a cruise ship and it's called Kevin Cruz. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night's show. We've got Dave Fire Eater and John Sword Juggler. That's tough to say. Very Here's good. Kevin Cruz. <laughs> Kevin Cruz, the chief host on board the Fishy Rose. This is why I would never go on one of these boats. You are sailing through to the next round. You are through to the semis. I cannot believe I'm through to the semi-finals. How good's that? I love Kevin Cruz. It's heaven on a stick for me, this kind of act. I was born on the Fishy Rose. I realised I wanted to be a performer when I was cleaning the glasses in the bar and I'd look at everyone rehearsing, high kicking and dancing and sequins and glitter. I thought, I want to be there. I love. All these years working on the Fishy Rose have led up to this moment. It is going to be the biggest and the best performance ever. Tonight, I am going to bring the Fishy Rose to the whole nation. I hate cruise ship entertainers. Nobody wants to see them. That's why they end up on a boat. Simon will be booking a cruise on the Fishy Rose by the end of tonight. Guaranteed. The only ship I wish he was on was the Titanic. Tonight, I am coming at him. With all my singing, all my dancing, he is cruising for a bruising. <laughs> Please welcome Kevin Cruz! as you can have in two minutes with the keeping your clothes on. <laughs> yeah. Most of them, anyway. Yeah. I have to apologise to the viewers who are watching in HD. You really can't see everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> we were worried it was going to be too camp. Um, uh, here you go. <laughs> I don't do camp. <laughs> right, but well, well done, well done. Uh, over to the judges. Sorry. Piers, let's start with you. Oh, Kevin. That was just <laughs> magnificent. Yes. Simon will never get this kind of act, you see, but you represent every cruise entertainer that I've ever seen. And the great thing about those two minutes is that he's never going to get them back. <laughs> <laughs> every, every song choice, every dance move, every tassel wiggle, everything was designed to cause Simon Cowell maximum discomfort, <laughs> and I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. Amanda, Amanda, we can 
to tell oh, you like that. Oh, I love you. I absolutely <laughs> love you. There is no such thing as too camp. That's like saying a diamond's too big. <laughs> <laughs> Adulterated sheer entertainment. I love you, <laughs> Kevin, and I want you in the final. That's Amanda. Two positive colours. Simon, are that's you going to agree? That's a big red X. I, no, I, I get the fact that the uh, deaf audience like this uh, this act. <laughs> but, you know, at the halfway point, I just imagined myself. If I hadn't seen this show for the first time, mm. tuning into this by accident <laughs> at, at the point you were trying to... <laughs> and at that point, it was Agadoo and you were trying to get out of your trousers and... You kind of got to see it from, from where I sit. Actually, yeah. actually, no, you don't. Actually. <laughs> it's like okay. a wedding disco when you have a few too many drinks and you let all your ambitions go yes. and suddenly you're on the floor exactly. and you're having a laugh. <laughs> It's up to the fault of all their fuel. At least you gave it 100%. I yes. mean, you know, thank you. And you've done Shane McDonald proud. Oh. Thank you, Amanda. If you would like to see Amanda, uh, Kevin in the final, not Amanda, she's definitely going to be here. If you'd like to see Kevin in the final, the number to call is on our double one, 32, 22, or 3. But lines don't open until we've seen all eight acts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time. It's Kevin Cruz. <laughs> Uh, next up is a man who can be very difficult to watch. You never know what's going to come out of his mouth, and he can cause viewers to feel nauseous. No, it's not Piers Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> it's Stevie Starr. My name's Stevie. I'm known as a regurgitator. I couldn't take my eyes off you. Maybe gag a few times. Definitely, yes. Yes from me. Three yeses. Being in the semi-final is great because it'll give me the opportunity to really shock Britain one more time. As a kid, all I wanted to do basically was perform. When I was in the classroom, I'd be swallowing the chalk from the teacher and I was able to bring her back whichever colour they asked for. As far as I know, there is no one else doing what I do. In fact, I don't think anyone wants to do what I do. <laughs> what I'm going to do tonight, Britain is going to absolutely love. They will not believe this. I think for him to go further, he's got to swallow something larger than a billiard ball. Anything smaller, no. You've seen what I did last time, but tonight will really shock you. The big question for Steve is, can he be repellent, but also entertaining? And if he can, then he could go to the final. I do not recommend anyone to try this at home. about to do is extremely dangerous and should not be attempted at home. If you do, it may cause serious injury or even death. He's about to laugh tonight, isn't he? Please <laughs> welcome Stevie Starr. <laughs> well, here I am again to swallow. Let's begin. I have here one light bulb. Just to open up the stomach, we're going to put the light bulb down and return him. Would you be wearing a ring? Oh, no, I'm only wearing oh, my please. engagement ring. Let me borrow your ring. I'll give it back to you. I promise you. No. Oh, Hang please. on a minute, it's my engagement Oh, that doesn't matter. Come on, Amanda, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you, Amanda. Anyway, Amanda, watch your ring. Watch your ring. I am so following your you to the Your ring is going inside. <laughs> Say good. 